Tom Clark's main event is a Boink Studios production. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Boink Studios. And check us out on boinkstudios.com where you can see all of our projects, past, present, and future. And now, on with the show. This is Daddy's show. Step off. <laughs> Hey, hey, what is up? Welcome back to the program, folks. Thank you for tuning in. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tom Clark, and this is Tom Clark's main event. We're back once again here on Facebook Live. Glad you are with us. We're also recording today. The show will post on YouTube and is always available on boystudios.com. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes and iHeartRadio. This is episode number 109, and yes, we're moving right along here on Facebook Live. We want to thank everyone for joining us here, of course, and for coming back each and every week. Much thanks to Heidi Ryan and the whole crew at Wrestling Rumors for giving us this platform. We greatly appreciate it. So episode number 108 was the destruction of The Shield and Dota B Evolution. We talked about Dean Ambrose's betrayal of Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns' departure, and the Evolution event. This time, it's Crown Jewel. That's right, folks. The main event is WB Crown Jewel. We're watching. We just got the warning. Unauthorized interception or receipt prohibited. Unauthorized viewers, beware. Big Brother is watching. The show is beginning right now. So, for anyone out there who's asking or wondering the question, Tom, are you going to do like the whole 12 hours or however long this freaking thing's going to be? No, I'm not, okay? We're going to hang out for an hour and a half, maybe a bit longer. Uh, for the show here. So there you are. Um, and Crown Jewel is getting ready to kick off as we speak. Someone's already mentioned uh, Hogan's name. And yes, Hogan is supposedly um, uh, emceeing the event. The event. He's the host. Hey, what's up? What's up? Everyone's saying hey. Hi to everyone. Hello, hello. Yes, this is Dean Ambrose. I do not look like, De- I swear to God, it, I don't understand the fascination with me looking like Dean Ambrose. I really don't. I don't think I do. I really don't. Um, But you know what? I've been called a lot worse. Of course, Dean's now like a stinking turncoat, right? Uh, by the way, for any one of you out there who um, caught us on Monday night here on the Wrestling Rumors, my son and I went to the Spectrum Center in Charlotte to see Monday Night Raw. We took like a 10-minute clip of he and I just hanging out. He was entertaining. He's a ham, as always. Um, and we had a blast. It was a good show. I, I enjoyed it. Dean was came down the steps right beside where we were. We got some fantastic pictures of him. Um, it was a fun time. My kid enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. That's all I can ask for. I spent way too much money. But it's just me. Um that's what you do. If you go to a wrestling show on a budget, maybe you shouldn't be going to a wrestling show. I'm going to tell you right now, for the most part, the food is ridiculous. The drinks, the snacks are ridiculous. I'm not going to tell you how much it was for a box of candy, a bottle of water, and a box of chicken tenders. Whew. I had to mortgage the house, folks, just to do that. As if the tickets don't cost enough, right? But it is what it is. Uh, let's see. Yep, Crown Jewel is starting. Who's watching the show right now? Who is going to watch with us? I'm going to attempt to get comfortable in this chair um, as we start to watch the show right now. Let's take this sucker off mute where I can hear a little. Yep, can you guys hear a little? Shh, don't be telling on us. They'll take it down. Copyright, you know. It's very important we don't abuse the copyright laws. I make jokes, but I'm not really making jokes. It's really a serious thing, so everyone just be, be cool. Be cool, all right? Don't sell me out, man. Come on. By the way, wasn't it funny how everyone told Dean he you sold out? Sold out to who, by the way? Who'd Dean sell out to? Exactly. We don't even know why he did it. You sold out for what? To who? They're chanting, you sold out. They said, you sold out. And I went, to who? And they said, you sold out. And I said, how? You sold? And I had a few people around me just looking at me like, what? And I'm like, how did he sell out? What did he do exactly? I don't know. They're welcoming everyone. I'm going to guess and say that this place in Saudi uh, Riyadh, right? 
um, is getting us some great pyro. I'm assuming they will at some point. Hulk. Hogan. There is the music. Oy vey. Are you happy, everyone out there in Facebook land, who were dying to see Hulk Hogan again, who really wanted to see Hogan and Saudi Arabia? Are you happy now that he's there? Everyone stand up and shout. You got your wish. You got exactly what you wanted. Boo to that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yes, Patrick, uh, they are going to have the match. It's going to be right now. Well, not right now. During Crown Jewel. Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman. So, uh, hey, what's up? Folks are still coming in. Thanks for joining us, man. Go tell your friends. Tom Clark's main event is live right now on Wrestling Rumors. Tina says, I don't care. Tina, I don't care either. I don't care at all. What do we not care about? Is it Hogan? I don't care about Hogan at all. I'm not going to hate. Yeah, there's the Pyro. Can't get Pyro in this country unless it's WrestleMania, right? <laughs> Went to Raw. And, uh, you know... My kid's been to a handful of uh, uh, WWE events, uh, and the, the pyro was gone, I think, by the time he started, he was old enough to go. You know, I remember going to see uh, Monday Night Raw, it was either Raw or SmackDown back in the day, and the pyro, the fire from Kane's entrance was so hot, you could legit feel the heat off of it anywhere you sat in the building. It was that hot. You're like, whoa, it just kind of hit you in the face like an explosion, because it was an explosion, right? They don't do that anymore. They only do it for the special crowds, okay? So, boo to this. Yeah, there's Hogan. I'm not even going to tell you what's in my head right now. We tried to uh, we tried to be cool on the show, man. Um, Batista had it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hogan wins universal title. Never say never, man. Or Channing, welcome back, yes. This wouldn't even work in the States right now, would it? Would it? Interesting. You know what's fun is that if you're listening to this um, uh, at, you know, already recorded, go back to the very beginning if you didn't start it. Go back to the very beginning and start. Um, and you can see where I'm picking up. Uh, look at the date stamp right now on the podcast. Um, Hogan has the mic in his hands. He's just now addressing the crowd. You can like use this as a commentary for the show. Hey, all right. Hulkamaniacs, brother. Brother, brother. There's a whole lot of people in that crowd just loving this Hulkamaniac stuff, man. He has he has appeal. He has worldwide appeal. He always has. Love to see Hogan get beat down right now. I disagree, Paul. Uh, beating him down puts him over. Hello into Georgia. Uh, President Andrew Jackson joins us from Georgia today. Mr. President, glad you could join us today. Hulk Hogan's getting some thumbs up from Joe Brown, mighty Joe Brown. How about developing new talent instead of bringing back DX? Sal, a lot of people agree with you on that one, for sure. Batista, Ray Mysterio is back. Patrick, are you watching the product? Just asking. Ray is back. Ray's performing. He's working today. Tonight for them, today for us, yes. I'm behind, man. I've been behind this week. Um, we had Halloween, of course. Had Raw on Monday, had Halloween on Wednesday, took the boy trick-or-treating. He came back with, you know, 114 pounds of candy or whatever it was. Uh, so I'm behind in my writing. I got a piece published today. I still have two more to do before tomorrow gets here. And then I'll probably do, uh, I'll probably be back on the laptop Sunday night to get some more pieces done. I've got some announcements coming up, by the way, folks. Very shortly, I've, I'm going to be uh, working for a new website. Not a new website, but new to me. How about that? I'm starting that gig. Should be next week or the week after. Right as we roll into Thanksgiving. I know what you're thinking. Tom, have you lost your mind? Yes. Yes, I have. Let's see. It's not DX if there's no X-Pac and New Age Outlaws. Interesting take, Danny. Interesting take. Oh, you didn't know? Da, 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 da. There's pyro. Everywhere there's pyro. So if you're seeing the fireworks going off like crazy outside of Jeddah right now, no, that's not gunfire. I'm not trying to be silly or funny either. Um, then you know you're at the right spot um, watching the show, listening to the commentary here. By the way, thanks for doing that. I've done that occasionally before I listen to a commentary track as I'm watching a program. 
So we just got introduced to someone who doesn't seem very happy to be in the front row. You got the best seat in the house, man, and you're like probably stinking rich. How are you not happy? By the way, can we all take a moment to say, oh my God, it's great to see Renee Young sitting at that desk right now in Saudi Arabia, knowing the treatment of women in that country. I'm going to tell you right now, anyone around the world can say whatever they want to you about the United States, and man, we deserve a lot of flack right now. I didn't vote the guy in. I'm just saying, I had nothing to do with it, all right? We deserve a lot of grief for the decisions we make as a people. But, you know, compare and contrast. I, I'm i just trying to make a point. That's all I'm doing to you right now, or doing for you right now, I should say. Um, we have the Arabic uh, announced team. That's something different. Hey, listen, I'm not saying they're bad people. I'm not saying uh, uh, anyone in that crowd is necessarily a bad person. I'm just saying it's got... Um, it's all just, uh, it, it hurts to see, uh, the, the sort of stuff that goes on and, and things that are said and they just were allowed to start driving cars this year. Is that right? Jesus, it's 2018, man. Get your heads out of your, you know, certain orifices and get with the times, man, for real. Right now, the preview of the crown jewel tournament. Um, there's the cup, the the World Cup. And don't you know it says World Cup on the bottom. Just so you know what it is. <laughs> just, in case, <coughs> just in case there was any doubt what you got. That's the World Cup. Okay, because it says on the bottom, great big font. Yikes. So, kudos to WWE for getting Renee Young at that table. I've never been a bigger fan of hers than I am right now. Kudos to her for making the journey. Because I'm going to tell you right now. It did, it, not for nothing, this is not the easiest trip for these men and women to make. We all know that John is no longer booked for today. Daniel's not going to be there. They didn't want to go. Uh, and more power to them, they shouldn't have to go. No one should have to go. Uh, but as we as we know uh, from from um, uh, situations in the past, uh, Sal just said uh, the first match he ever saw was Pedro versus Ernie Ladd. That's awesome. Sal, record that, man. Get that thing going for sure. Hear that, Dane? Did you hear that, Dane? Oh, thanks. Dennis says the tree looks good. My tree is up. That's right. Suck it, Grinches. My tree went up on November 1st. I don't even care. My tree goes up on November 1st every year, and that's how it is. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas to you all around the world. Even if you don't celebrate it, take the Merry Christmas and accept it and love it. Here's Ray Mysterio Jr. (laughs) That's me on commentary. Forcing you to accept the Merry Christmas and then introducing Ray Mysterio Jr. Ray gets pyro. Ray's got some great big old eyes on the screen, man. It's good to see Ray. Ray's in great shape. Ray's probably probably in the better shape than he's been in a long time. Um, you know, you can't work the way Ray has worked for his entire career, which, by the way, is whew, in excess of 20 years, I think. I did the math at some point. It's really, really up there because he started when he was like nine or something. You can't work that kind of style for all those years. Uh, and it not take a swear and tear its toll on your body. Did Hulk say anything important? Um, I didn't hear him. But, you know, uh, 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 does Hulk ever say anything important besides brother and dude? And let me tell you something. A lot of old pro, old school pro wrestlers, the, the shtick is, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, brother. Let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you this right here. What if they said, let me tell you, and you went, I don't think so. And they're like, uh, uh, okay, I, will, I guess I won't tell you. It's old catchphrase, cliche. People don't think where they speak. That's the problem. Ray getting his love from the crowd as he should. Did I see a cage over that ring? Look up. Is that a cage or is that just like a screens around the top of the ring? Must be screens because if that were, if that's a cage, that thing is closed in like where you can't see inside of it. It's still cage match. It's completely enclosed. You can't see it. The guys are just sitting around talking, texting each other. It's funny. There it is, folks. The World Cup. Not to be confused with a World Cup. It's the World Cup. Yeah, just not big on the World Cup. I think it sucks. Yeah, well. Yeah, he started when he was like five in Tijuana. Yeah, no, I, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, much love to Ray, man. 
We've lost some viewers. I wonder how many people are not watching Crown Jewel today. This might have been a bad idea for a show. Hey, listen, you don't have to be watching Crown Jewel, man. There's the, there's, uh, I was going to say the Orton. There's the Orton. Randy Viper, the Orton. <laughs> Randy made the trip. Ex Marine. We won't go there. I'm not trying to throw shade today, man. But, uh, you know, no one really asked me for my opinion uh, in terms of what I think politically on all this. This show shouldn't have happened. Not in Saudi. I disagree with this whole thing. No one asked me. It's my show, though. I figure I would just tell you, right? I disagree with this. This show shouldn't have took place where it's happening. Jamal Hashogi, uh, the Saudi Arabian journalist that was killed. That's a very real thing. Um, the Washington Post put up today on its YouTube channel the uh, remembrance, the memorial service for him, and his fiance was the first one to speak. That's a very real thing. Regardless of whether or not you understand the culture or agree with it or accept it or whatever the case may be, or if you're indifferent to it or ignorant to it or whatever it is, don't know. Um, very real people were impacted by this man's death, uh, namely the woman that he was going to marry. That's a big deal. Um, in my opinion, WB shouldn't be here. This feels like the wrong move. Look at all that royalty just sitting around the front rows. All that royalty. Stinking rich. You have to sit there and wonder. And I don't know if anything's been proven in terms of did the government really conspire to have him killed. If any of you have the information on that, I'd love to hear it. Because I've not looked in the past couple, two to three days. But suspicions, of course. A lot of people saying it, claiming it, believing it, suspecting it. The whole nine. But it, just imagine if any one of those those cats sitting around the ring in the turbans right now, or um, if they are, uh, or tur- excuse me, what at the shroud? I'm sorry, I don't mean to disrespect. If do any one of them have any knowledge of what happened? I don't know. You're never an ex marine. You're always a marine. But uh, oh yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. Uh, I caught him that because he deserted. Uh, no disrespect to Randy. I interviewed Randy here on the show. Great guy. A really nice guy, too. Uh, very down-to-earth, very professional. And I'm not throwing shade at him at all, but he did desert, right? So his reasons are his own. I, I don't know. I was never in the man's shoes. I try not to judge anyone in those terms because unless you know the situation they're in, it's hard for you to be able to comment. Uh, but, yeah, I agree with you completely. No such thing as X-Marine. One, once Marine, always Marine. Of course, I don't know if he views himself that way. You know what I mean? That's just me talking. <clears throat> Can you guys tell my voice is still screwed up from last week? I've had that cough for like seven raging days of coughing. Right now, back over the top rope. Kick to the back of Orton's head. Ray going to springboard off that top rope. Yep. Like, oh, call the drop kick. That was beautiful. Randy Orton still has one of the best drop kicks in the business. There's only a few guys in the history of pro wrestling, in my opinion, that have just such a beautiful drop kick. Randy Orton's one of them. Randy Orton, Barry Windham, Hardcore Holly. Uh, to be honest with you, he had a beautiful drop kick. Uh, uh, Kazushka Okada at this point. Great, fantastic drop kick. Uh, one of the best in the business, if not the best right now. I've seen Randy get up so high that he made contact with the top of the guy's head, with the crown of the guy's head. No kidding. And he wasn't, and he was as tall as Randy, if not taller. And I forget who it was, but I'm like, oh my God, he almost missed him. That's how, that's how much air he got. It's crazy. Robert says, I was there 91 for Desert Storm. There were signs on restaurants that said no women allowed. They treat women badly. It's a shame. It's a shame, man. Tina says, yeah, and Robert, a huge shame. I hate to hear things like that, but that's just shows to, just shows you how backwards society is in some of these countries, man. And again, I'm not dissing the people there. For all we know, those people don't want this. Look at all these rich guys standing around talking. You're in the front row, man. Watch the show. Look. Wouldn't you love to hear like one of them, one of the regular people behind these cats going, Hey, could you sit down? I can't see. My, I, I paid for these seats, man. My kid, they can't see. Sit down. We're security. That's not going to happen, right? Oh my God, that's not going to happen. Wouldn't it be great if it did? I'd pay to see that. I would have paid to see this. Just for that. So. Danny says tequila shot always works for the cough. Danny, I am straight edge, my friend. I have never. Um, um, I have never drank alcohol or taste alcohol in my entire life. Never had a cigarette. Never had uh, drugs. 
besides prescription medication, which I abuse all the time. That's a joke. Um, I've never had anything in my system, man. I'm clean as a whistle, at least in that regard. So that's just me. Let's see. They're going to move Ray to 205. Is that insulting for him? I don't think it's insulting for him at all. I think he would love the opportunity to work with those guys. Can you imagine being on 205 Live if you've only ever been around Ray and limited limited exposure and you just know his work or grew up a fan of his work? Imagine being around that guy in the locker room and having been able to have a 10-minute conversation with him. Just 10 minutes where he can say, listen, here's what, here's what I'm suggesting. And then you're like, oh my God, I love that. And then you go out and you do it. I mean, dude, this, it would have to be huge for them. And yeah, it would boost that show. And I would absolutely put him on that show. Absolutely. 100%. Why not? I mean, 205 Live would be a limited schedule for him. I'm sure he would love that. I don't think they're going to do it because it's Ray Mysterio because they want him on the main roster. But Ali versus Ray. Oh, yeah. Let's make that happen. Um, yeah. Uh, straight. Well, okay. Um, straight edge in terms of I don't take anything. But no, I'm not tattooed. Dude, I'm in my uh, whatever I, age I am. None of your business. I don't have one tattoo. Thought about it until I started seeing all the 16-year-old high school girls running around with them everywhere. And I said, yeah, no, nah, it's not for me. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. It's just me. No disrespect to anyone that has them. It's cool if you have them. I've seen some amazing tattoos. Randy's got some great ink right there on his arms, dude. It's not for me, man. I can't do it now. I, I figure I've gone this long. I could probably finish up without them. Isn't that terrible? You get to a certain age, you're like, well, it's time to finish this up. Been a good run. Might as well get this over with. It's awful. Uh, let's see. Leo Rush versus Ray. Anything to shut Leo Rush up. <laughs> Super House Show 2. Jim says Super House Show 2. That was nice. Well, Jim, you've missed a bunch of rich dudes uh, standing around talking. Um, yeah, no, we're not talking about Trump's cabinet, but I'm, I'm not taking it back. I don't even care. So, uh, <laughs> roll up. He got him. Ray wins. So we're not commentating the show too much, are we? Jeez. Ray got the win. That was nice. You see how Ray just looked at the ref and said, was that three? That was good. And then of course, Randy nails him with the RKO from out of nowhere. Because always from out of nowhere. Randy kind of slobbering on himself a little bit. It's okay. He's in character. A little rabid. He's the rabid uh, predator. I don't know. Referee's like, oh man, the referee might catch one too. Nah, he's not going to catch one. Is he going to catch one? Nah, he's not going to catch one. Hey Randy, go out to the front row and like RKO all the rich guys in the front row, man. Let's make that happen. I'd pay to see that. How about let's see that, Okay. Make it hurt. Stiff him. Take him down the hard way. Finally, Randy snaps for Brock busting him open the hard way. Was it two years ago? Whatever it's been now. Let's see that. I want to see that happen. Sorry. It's just how I feel. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. They just, they just want to say they were there. Uh, where is Bray Wyatt? He's off doing Bray Wyatt things. I don't know. I'd love to see Bray get back in the fold. I don't know if they have anything to do with it to, with, for him right now since Matt's no longer a full-time competitor. I'm just throwing it out there. For all we know, uh, Bray's got some nagging injuries. It is entirely possible that they have things like that happening in that company and they're able to keep it to themselves, which seems like a, which seems impossible the way social media is. They just get their hands on everything. Randy's going to take that cup and hit him upside the head with it. Nope, not going to happen. I miss the uh, the Korean announced team. The Korean announced team, I think, is my favorite. Uh, one of those guys follows me on Facebook. I can't remember his name. My apologies. Uh, let's see. Yep, Ray is uh, Ray selling it, folks. Ray is Randy going to leave? Or is he going to come back for more? Can't have a best in the world tournament without Jericho. Interesting. Yeah, is Bray Wyatt still recovering from a car accident? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, most definitely. I don't know how serious it was, but yeah, you're most definitely probably right. Yeah. Gotta admit, though, uh, so the horrible way 
how he got the win. You're talking about how Ray got the win? Horrible way? Is that what you're talking about, Jason? I don't know. Just a roll-up, man. I don't think it was that bad. Bam. And, of course, Randy lawn-darting Ray Mysterio underneath the bottom rope. Reminds me of Kevin Nash lawn-darting him into the side of the trailer in WCW. Ray's a good thing to play target practice with. I'm just, I'm just saying. Yep, Dennis made the good point. Be nice to have wrestlers from all over the world in the World Cup for sure. Looking to do something to Bray and Harper. They didn't just have anything for Bray right now. <laughs> you know, if you're Luke Harper, you'd probably be pretty happy. Um, and Rowan uh, to get back with Bray. Why not? Put the band back together, that kind of thing. But at the same time, you know, I'm, I'm still a firm believer that they could have done something with Harper. Maybe they still can as a singles, you know. He's just so good to be a big man. Uh, Jason says someone's home. The illness of Roman is a storyline, but he's just asking. Jason, you have false information, my friend. And those are bad people that told you that. What do I think of John Cena's new move? Um, it's lame, but a bunch of his moves are lame and no one cares about it. I got much love for John. No disrespect. But yeah, it's goofy. And he knows it's goofy, which is why he did it, because John's goofy. And John's all about um, getting a rise out of people. I think he loves it. In fact, I know he does. Uh, let's see. Yeah, man. Um, it's funny, because when we went live on Monday before Raw started, we had like 200 viewers, over 200 at one point. And like, no one's watching today, because I don't think anyone's watching Crown Jewel. There's Miz with his great big glasses backstage. Who wears the big glasses like that? Those are looking familiar to me from someone, and I can't remember who. Byron Saxon with the purple. <laughs> purple rain. Yeah. So, uh, I was going to listen to this promo, but basically it's the same promo every time. Can I be honest with you? Uh, Dennis says CNA's retire and stick to Total Bellas. Danny got that from Iron Fist. You know what? I still am upset uh, that Iron Fist was canceled. Uh, Danny, I'm reading a lot of stuff at one time and watching this show. It remind me of what you're talking about. You said you got something from Iron Fist. My apologies, Danny, for going to sleep on you there. Um, yeah, I. Uh, by the way, folks, uh, in case any of you out there are comic book fans, I got a new podcast starting probably the first of next week. Um, it's going to be available online first. And uh, if any of you out there are friends of mine on Facebook, if you're not, send me a message on Wrestling Rumors Instant Messenger and I'll send you a friend request. That It's, it's a lot easier that way. And if you're interested, I will send you the link to it. Okay, And I'm going to uh, um, submit it to iTunes next week as soon as i got the first show done. And hopefully by the end of next week, it's on iTunes. It's going to be called Tom Clark's Comic Book World. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing the shows, man. So yeah, I was uh, I was very upset that uh, not very upset. I was more upset that Luke Cage got canceled than I was Iron Fist. To be honest with you. All right, we're going to the second match of the main show now. Ooh, Jason says Jeff Hardy sucks. His brother is way better. Hot take from Jason Campbell. No, uh, Danny. To my knowledge, they've not. Uh, Daredevil and Jessica Jones has not been canceled as of right now that I know of. Just finished season three of Daredevil, and it was amazing, by the way. You have to watch it. And uh, they're working on season three of Jessica Jones as we speak. It's not rap, yet rap production, I don't believe. I still believe that Netflix um, is doing a preemptive strike because they know that Disney's going to have its own app next year, which is going to be another streaming service I'm going to have to pay for. I'm going to have to get some more writing gigs to be able to afford all this stuff, man. <laughs> so, after W Evolution, I hope a woman women's live show happens. Are you talking about like a, oh, I see, like a weekly live show? Noel Orlando Rolon. Roland? Roland? Um, interesting. Josh says, sorry, new here into wrestling. Josh, don't apologize, my man. Welcome to the show, brother. Anything you want to know, we'll tell you. For sure. We won't lead you astray. Everyone say hi to Josh and welcome to pro wrestling. Can we do that? Watch this, Josh. It's fun. Say hi to Josh and welcome to the show. Can we do that? It's fun stuff. I like that. Uh, let's see. A Hogan return to Crown Jewel. Yes. Yay. There's Jeff wearing some purple too. Purple I'm sensing is a theme here in Saudi Arabia. 
Purple is for royalty. I don't know. Whatever. Like I said, I'm not real high on this show. Um, I'm high on the performers. I am high on the men and women. The men. Ha. Huh. The men who are uh, applying their craft in the ring today. Uh, I want everyone to be safe and, and put on a good show and get out of that country safe as well, for sure. Um, so yeah, all, all much respect to every, every person performing in that ring today. Brock or Stroman? I say Stroman. Joe says, enjoying the show in Lakeland, Florida. Hello to Lakeland, Florida. What's up, Joe? What is Hulk Hogan doing back? Is he going to be the near all GM? God, let's hope not. Sorry. This might take. Why not women? Because they are in Saudi Arabia, cat. In Saudi Arabia, women aren't working. Uh, it's nonsense. It's backwoods. It's uh, prehistoric thinking. It's nonsense. I don't care what your customs are. The minute you start looking down on someone for not being the same color, the same gender, the same uh, social status, the same persuasion as you, and you start looking down on people for that, you're a bad person. I don't care who you are. Don't care how you were raised. It doesn't make a difference to me. It's 2018. You might have had an excuse in the 50s, the 1850s. You got no excuse now. For real. That's me soapboxing. Vote Tom in 2018. I'm kidding. I can't run. I'm too old. <laughs> I got too much dirt. I don't know. Do I have dirt? I might have some dirt. Who knows? Yeah, yeah Jim just said I'm feeling a little guilty for watching Crown Jewel. Doesn't feel right. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, I'm sitting there talking. I'm sitting there talking about how I don't I don't agree with it, but I'm watching. But Jim, how's about this? I'm watching for the performers. I want to see the wrestling. I'm not watching as a political statement. Um, I'm watching because I enjoy the wrestling. This should be a good match, I believe. Um, need to include people who put down people in this country. Yep. Uh, David says she's, he's surprised Renee's commentating. It's a pleasant surprise. We all love it. The story broke a few days ago, actually. Uh, but yeah, it's great to see her there. Awesome. Uh, let's see. SmackDown moved to Fox. They want more wrestling than promo stuff than Ross. They want something similar NXT does. They want that dude from UFC to be a commentator. <clears throat> Who are we talking about from UFC? Do they still have... I don't, I don't know my UFC guys. You're not talking about Joe Rogan, right? You're talking about, uh, what's his name? Get someone, give me the name of the UFC commentator, the guy that's been there forever, Mike something. Help me out here, folks. Any UFC fans out there? Who's been the voice of UFC for the longest time? I'm not talking about Joe Rogan. I'm talking about somebody else. Anybody? Uh, let's see. I could look it up, I guess. I might have to look it up. Is he gone? Josh says he's gone. I didn't realize he left. You know, you know what I'm talking about then, right, Josh? Um, WWE went after him several years ago. That's who they wanted. They made a play for him, and he turned it down. Um, and supposedly he stayed. Uh, he wanted to stay with UFC. Uh Mike Goldberg, that's it. He's now doing play-by-play -play for Bellator. WWE made a play for um, <laughs> WWE made a play for the play-by-play -play of Mike Goldberg. Let's see, man, I have to clean the house after this event because <laughs> you feel dirty. Is that why? Uh, Kong, I'm going to refer to you as Mrs. Kong. No disrespect intended, uh, and my apologies if I'm not seeing your. Um, your uh, avatar correctly or pronouncing your name correctly or something. Uh, my apologies for that. Um, yeah, they went after Goldberg uh, several years ago uh, and that, it, they came up empty on that. Vince wanted him to be the new voice of Monday Night Raw. Voice of WWE, actually, and it didn't work. Or they, he, he said no. Okay, so Miz and Hardy. So much for a commentary track on Crown Jewel, man. But um, Miz and Jeff are in the ring right now. Miz in full control. I used to, I, I did uh, at several different points during my time in pro wrestling, I did call uh, quite a few matches. Um, most of the time I did it as a heel commentator, as a color commentator. <clears throat> but then toward the end, I 
was the lead commentator, the play-by-play guy. And I would have someone doing color beside of me, which was different. but And a lot more work, too. <sighs> I'm not kidding. But I enjoyed it. I still enjoy it. I still love to do it. I see rich kids in those seats now. See the rich guys? There's their rich kids behind them. That one kid in the gray sweatshirt mugging for the camera. It just goes to show you, man. Kids are kids. It doesn't matter where they are. It's awesome. Mugging. He's still mugging for the camera. Isn't that funny? You're on camera, kid. That's good stuff. That's the real star of the show right there. Uh, let's see. You fought Daniel Cormier. Is that who you're thinking of? Uh, Jason says, why no John Cena or Daniel Bryan at Crown Jewel? Yeah, yeah, okay, hold on. Josh just says supposedly that, yeah, the, the rumor is that WWE wants UFC, or Fox does, Daniel Cormier to do uh, commentary on SmackDown next year? Like, uh, 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 what? I don't know. I take that with the rumor as long as you could until something's been uh, something's been uh, uh, confirmed. But Jason says, why not John Cena, Daniel Bryant, Crown Jewel? The rumor has been for the past couple of weeks that they refused to do the event. They didn't want to be included. So John was removed first and Daniel was removed second. John was just removed because of Baron Corbin and Lashley and, you know, bad guy storylines. And then uh, um, uh, Daniel faced AJ on SmackDown Live for the WWE Championship. And since that match was already given to fans for free, then they said, well, hey, let's just give this title shot to Samoa Joe. So it got AJ out of working crown, or excuse me, got to Daniel Bryan out of working crown jewel. So they took care of it in a two night fail swoop. Because when you're Daniel Bryan and John Cena, you get to call that shot. And good for them. Um, I wouldn't have went either, to be honest with you. So let's see. Yeah, Fox wants some more sports theme instead of a comedy act. I couldn't agree with that idea more. I hope that's right. It is good to have a show in other countries. Uh, absolutely. Stephen Mark Preston. Yeah, you're right. It's good to have a show in other countries. hundred percent agree. Not this country. Not today. Not under these circumstances. This is the wrong move. Um, on the same day the memorial service is had for, uh, Jamal Hashogi, uh, trying to pronounce it correctly. Excuse me. Um, bad day to have this. This is the wrong move. This is bad taste. I think this will haunt them. Even if this event comes off, uh, without a hitch, and hopefully it will. I think this will haunt this company for a good long while, to be honest with you. I disagree with this whole thing happening. Now, would they have took a bath if they pulled out financially? Oh, yeah, I'm sure they would have. But you know what? Things change, man. Sometimes you got to take a stand do the right thing. And I don't believe that they've done that by continuing to have the show in Saudi Arabia. I'm all for WWE going all over the world. They always do, and I'm I'm for it. But when you show up in a country that that whose government may have conspired to kill an innocent man, no, no, sir. That's that's you gotta take a stand for something, right? It's just me. Uh Steven, have you been to any NXT NXT UK tapings? Get some tickets, man. Go. Go and then tell us how it was. <laughs> give us some uh, give us a report, dude. That'd be sweet. Do I think Ambrose uh Rollins will fight the next pay-per-view? I hope not, Bo. Here's why. I think they need to keep these guys hands off each other. They'll 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 work a Survivor Series more than likely. I think they should save it to WrestleMania. That's me talking. I think they've now got the WrestleMania match, but I think they need to tease the devil out of this. Uh, they need to keep hands off for as long as possible and build the anticipation. Wish someone would come out and cut a heel promo on that crowd in City. John, what's up, John? Uh, if that happened, John, that dude's not getting out of there alive. Um, he would have to do it in such a way where it's silly and a little goofy and makes him look like a clown. Santino could do it. You know what I mean? But no one else could do it and pull it off without, you know, getting out of the, without getting out of there uh, hurt. Um, I firmly believe that. Uh, let's see. Any news on Hulk? Hulk's there, Brandon. WWE rings be a lot better if they would bring back John Cena full-time. Jason, John's not coming back full-time, man. He doesn't want to. He can't. Uh, a piece I posted yesterday on the floor seat uh, included an interview from a couple weeks ago where he flat out says, I'm too old. I can't do this anymore. He said at 41, I can't work 300 times out of the year and it'd be considered good for my body. I don't want to put my body through that anymore. So no, he's done. Full time's not happening for John. And you know, you got to cut him some slack. The guy's put his time in. 
Um, he's done everything he can for that company. He's put them on the map again and he carried the banner for years and, uh, yeah, good on him for moving on with the rest of his life. Let's see. So the Miz t- picks up the win over Jeff Hardy. Back to the commentary track, folks. Uh, so Miz wins, Rey Mysterio wins, and I just knocked the living crap out of my desk. My apologies. As we've said before here on the program time and time again, if it's if it happened live, it was meant to happen. Well, that was meant to happen. I totally meant to do that. Uh, let's see. What's a lot better? Are you trying to make it worse? Jason, I, you missed me there, my friend, somewhere. Uh, my apologies on that. The era of Miz is upon us. Any update on Roman Reigns? Ashley Don Gaskins, what's up? ADG. Um, n- no, I don't have any updates personally. Uh, we went to Raw this past Monday night. We were told, we heard scuttlebutt throughout the crowd that Roman was there and then left, that he was supposedly backstage and hung out and then split. I don't know if that's true or not. But um, nothing, nothing happening right now. All the best to him. Wish The Rock would come back full time. For the same reasons as John, I don't think you'll ever see that happen. And plus, they're only getting older. Miz has always been a top guy. I agree with that. Don't need a title to be considered a top guy. Not in this day and age. You haven't needed one in years to be able to be considered that. Uh, Baron is a joke on Raw. Boy, you set a mouthful there. Let's see. I'm in Seattle, Washington. Oh, I see where they're watching. I get you. Uh, a lot of people want WWE to not go to Saudi. The same people that want Ben Wall in the Hall of Fame. A lot of people who want WWE to not go to Saudi are the same people that want Ben Wall in the Hall of Fame. I don't know what you're talking about, James. All due respect, I have no clue what you're talking about. I don't want that guy in the Hall of Fame. Not at all. And we're not going to get into that because I refuse to talk about it. It's not going to happen. But no, that he has no place in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah, the heck with that noise. I'm not having it. CM Punk, best in the world. You know, the minute they started saying this best in the world stuff, I thought, that's Punk's gimmick. Can't you call it something else? The greatest ever or something? You're going to call it the best in the world? Come on. Yeah, I thought the same thing. Jim says, Cena doesn't get enough credit for knowing when the time is right to just go part-time. Good on him and put over the guys that took top spots. Amen to that, my friend. Which takes on which take on DX versus Brothers. Think Sean will do... Yes, I think Sean worked Mania, and I think it will be Sean versus AJ Styles. I think that will be Sean's last match again. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Till the next payday comes along. Hey, I'm not hating. He can do whatever he wants. His career, it's his body, it's his life, whatever. You know he's going to bring it today. You know he's going to bring 110% of whatever he's got left. And I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, Let's see. Who do you think will win between the... Oh, uh, DX is going over, I think. Uh, the, the, I don't really know if it matters. I'll say DX. Well, CM Punk return. I think it will be a cold day somewhere very hot before you see him, see CM Punk on WWE programming ever again. That's me talking. Doesn't mean I didn't, I don't want to see him, but I don't think it's a good idea for him. Uh, and if WWE wanted him that bad, they wouldn't have fired him on his wedding day via FedEx. And I don't think you can ever get away from that. I don't, put yourself in issues. Can you ever forget that? Can you ever forget that? I don't care who you, who's watching right now, male or female. Can you forget the day that the, the company that you gave so much to fired you on your wedding day via FedEx? Not a phone call. Not a face-to-face. FedEx. I'm just making a point. That's all. Uh, just find it hard to watch, really. I've been watching about four months. It's kind of hard to watch. Josh, you're talking about WWE? It's hard to watch? My friend, there's a lot of other pro wrestling out there. If you've not given New Japan a chance... Here's what I suggest you do. Go to njpw.com, newjapanworld.com. Uh, sign up for their streaming service. It's $9.99 a month. That's it. You can cancel at any time. Sign up for a month. Um, go through the archives. Watch the newest stuff they've got and see if it's if it's uh, if it tickles your fancy, as it were. See if you dig it because there's a lot of other uh, entertainment, pro wrestling entertainment out there. Ring of Honor's going strong. Give them a shot. Going to go see the show of theirs in January. Looking forward to that. Um, TNA Impact, Impact still going for better or worse. Impact still rolling, man. Give it a shot, you know. Um, there's other opportunities that there's other companies. Watch Lucha Underground on El Rey Network. It's messed up. It's it's completely melodramatic. It's hokey. It's goofy. It's silly. It's over the top and theatrical. It's different. I'll give them that. It's a hundred percent different than anything you've ever seen before when it comes to pro wrestling. Don't walk away, man. Give it a shot, you know. 
Uh, let's see. <laughs> it's how I feel about me. Anytime I find myself grieving, I think hell froze over. Yeah. Oh, God. Let me just tell you, man. Leo Rush at Monday Night Raw this past Monday. By the way, next up is Bobby Lashley versus uh, uh, Seth Rollins. This is going to be a good match. I think you're going to be surprised how good this is. I don't think it'll be it'll be quick like the other ones have been. This is going to be a good show. A good match right here, I believe. Uh, we all just wanted to kind of kill Leo Rush. There was a little girl behind us who was much younger than my kid. She's probably maybe five or six screaming at the top of her lungs at Leo Rush, talking about, you need some common sense. Oh, my God. It was so funny. All, there was all two rows of us just cracking up over this little girl. And every time he put his hands on Finn Balor, she's like, you you don't touch him. You let him go. It was awesome. So much fun. I wish I could have got that little girl's uh, voice on video or audio. That would have been great. Uh, DX going to win. Kane's going to turn on his brother. Raw mate uh, brings up a good point. I actually have always felt, um, Josh, you're welcome, my friend. I always actually felt that Undertaker's very last match in the company should be against Kane. That's how I think she just wrap it up. You know, for better or worse. And you can't tell me that the two guys wouldn't get a standing ovation at the end because you know they would. That should be how they go out, both of them, in my opinion. Let's see. Leo Rush has started a feud with Finn Balor. Interesting. Eh. I don't. I mean, if you're Finn Balor, do you sell for Leo Rush, who's already been identified as a cruiserweight? I don't know. That, that's a tough one for me. <laughs> Jay said, "I hope Bobby Lashley destroys him." Not a Seth Rollins fans. Seth Rollins fan is Jay as uh, Jason. Robert uh, says Leo Rush is a uh, is annoying, but I can't help but like him. He's doing his job. He's told to go out there and be annoying. He's doing his job. He's doing what he's asked to do. I can't stand it. But it's not against him, you know. You, it, it, it's a good point. Good point, Robert. There, there, there is. A, why isn't Brody in the Hall of Fame? Bruce Brody needs to be in the Hall of Fame. The fact that's not happened yet is a travesty on this planet. Um, you can you can uh, uh, hate someone all day long, and just it's just their character. You don't have to make it personal. You can hate what they look at that image. Wow, I gave you a headache. <laughs> that endless Titantron image that you just saw. I still see the rich guys in the front row. They're so entertaining the way they sit there being rich. <laughs> being stinking freaking rich. Tina says, took my niece to Raw a few years ago. Shannon comes out and she asks, who's the pale guy in the red panties? That's funny. I like that. Uh, I'm going to remind everyone once again, if we're not friends on Facebook, please send me a request in Wrestling Rumors Instant Messenger and I will send you a friend request. Just tell me, hey, Tom, here I am. Send me a request, pal. I'll do it, okay? A lot easier, a lot quicker that way. But yeah, you can hate someone's character and not hate the person. Not to make it personal. I see entirely what your point was earlier. Uh, let's see. I think Braun's going over. Uh, Jason says, I want to see Batista return. Batista wants to see Batista return. He will. It's going to be Batista versus Triple H. Probably WrestleMania 35. It's my opinion. I think that's what you're going to see for those two guys. Uh, and I think it'll be a good bit of nostalgia, and I think Batista will be over, <clears throat> which won't be easy, depending on, I mean, considering where it's going to be next year. But I think Batista brings a lot of goodwill with him now, thanks to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Is Leo on the mic, by the way? Yeah. Jim says, I like how the rich guys rotate in and out of their seats. Maybe it's a, tr- a tradition thing for them. Maybe it's one of those wacky traditions they have over there. It really sounds like I'm hating on the country of Saudi Arabia. I don't mean to. I hate on the people running the friggin' country. How about that? When you're in charge uh, and and your job is to keep people safe and run a democracy, not a democracy, excuse me, to run a government, wouldn't you want to keep people safe? I mean, I I don't understand it. Call it naivete on my part. If you want to, that's fine. I don't care. But to me, there's just, I don't know, there just seems to be a better way to go about doing things. This is the clothesline. Ooh. Lash goes over the top. Looked like it hurt on the, on the tail end of that. Bobby and that headband. My God, the headband. Yes, Stephen just said, thank God Leo Rush is quiet. Boy, I agree with that one. Jason says, what, just because they're richer than us? Jason, speak for yourself. How do you know how rich I am, man? Dude, you don't know. You know how much this shirt was? These headphones, the mic, the phone? God. I'm not hating on them because they're rich, man. 
I'm just hating on him for the entire situation. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just have a fundamental problem with this. I didn't realize I had such a fundamental problem to right now. I think it's raining here. I think it's raining here. Crazy. My kid had a field trip today. He was so, um, uh, so upset that he couldn't go. He'd been talking about it for two weeks. Oh, I'm sure there's safety concerns with the guys going over. For sure. Jim says they killed a journalist and cut up his body just because they didn't like what the guy wrote. Yeah, he was. He's he's now being referred to instead of a journalist uh, as a uh, as a critic um, of the government. And like you said, he had an opinion. He got killed for it. Absolute nonsense. Seth buckle bomb on. Oh no, he went for the buckle bomb and and uh, Bobby got out of it. Country wise, who's richer? I don't know, man. Uh, I can't tell you. I don't know. If you're asking about between us and them, I have no idea. I I really don't know. Um, I, it's just it's just an all oh, curb stomp. That's got to be it. He's not kicking out of that. Yeah, game over. And your winner, Seth Rollins. I see a lot of I see a lot of happy people. I see a lot of happy kids, husbands and wives. I see in that crowd, mostly husbands. Jeez, oh, but you know I can't hate on that. This is still a pro wrestling crowd. You know, it, for, for all the the stuff that's going on over there right now, there's still a pro wrestling crowd. Refs just said something. Leo Rush. Wonder what that was about. Anytime you see the ref communicating with the guys around, he's usually give them instruction. It's usually not a conversation. Um, as a heel manager, I had to get the ref's attention several times throughout a match. And in those moments where it looks like the, the heel manager is arguing with the ref and throwing his hands up and saying, what are you doing? He's really not. He's saying, look, he's going to go over to the next corner. You need to turn your back. I'm going to come get you again. That's what I did. Well, nothing's becoming of that. Said, All right, the, the camera just cut. Back to the table. Once again, great to see Renee Young there. All overrated people are winning. This sucks, I told you. Jason's more than upset. I'm tired of Bobby Lashley getting the short end of the stick. So is Leo Rush. Yeah, yeah, Jim made a good point. And Jim, to your point, this government, uh, here in this country, this country is not free from sin. There's heinous stuff going on here all the time. But like you just said, how much of it do you hear about? How much of it do you not hear about? That's the scary thing. What a nation can truly be capable of when it wants to be. Didn't know this was going to be political today, did you? Hey, man, whatever, dude. It's Friday. I'm in that kind of mood. So, yeah, it is what it is. We are coming up on an hour. We have to make a determination on how long we're going to run this sucker this week. Um, if Kurt Angle's match is next, we're definitely going to stay tuned for Kurt Angle's match. I'm curious to see how he looks in a match from start to finish that doesn't involve, you know, tactical gear uh, and two other guys helping him. So um, all these guys are going to have to work again, Josh. You have to work three times tonight in order to get to the final. If you get to the final, you would have worked three times tonight to get that beautiful World Cup, the prestigious World Cup. And it's, you know it's the World Cup because it says World Cup right on the bottom. Can we get a shot of that World Cup again, guys? Monkeys in the truck. Can we get a shot? There it is. Was that good timing or what? All right. <laughs> got to watch the handles on that thing. That sucker put an eye out. You got to be careful, man. Jeez. A lot of green and yellow there. Is this Seattle Sonics game? What's going on right now? Green Bay Packers? God help us. Well, Kurt, come out as USA gear. Tina, Tina, I'm your biggest fan. What a fantastic question. He ought to come out wearing the United States flag, man. Wear that sucker like Batman's cape. Are you kidding? He's got his mail on around the formerly broken freaking neck. They're chanting, you suck. See, it's a pro wrestling crowd. He's got the stars and stripes on. You knew he would. Great question. 
Hey, to see Kurt Angle wrestling again. I don't want him to hurt his neck again. I don't know if I want to see him wrestling again. We're going to see if he really is back in form. He's been claiming for months he can do this. He's ready. I know he's got some pretty solid knee braces on. Both knees. He's got those knees strapped up, man. Because, you know, <clears throat> the things that that bother, bother the majority of pro wrestlers at an extended period of time, the back and the knees. I mean, look, just watch tonight when Triple H comes out. He's going to have tape from, like, his thigh down to his ankle, okay? Underneath the boots, even. I'm just saying. I, I You know, I tease, but, you know, these guys are getting older, man. You had to expect that. Hulk Hogan has come back, Thomas. He kicked off the show. He's there now. He's had time to hit. Oh, yeah, for sure. Kurt Angle sucks. Well, that's what everyone tells him, for sure. Is John Cena going to make an appearance sometime during this tournament? No. John's not there, Nick. He didn't want to go, so he's not there. Jason says next month he'll be fit. Talking about Kurt? Check this out. Shawn Michaels and Kane are both 53. Triple H is 49. Uh, Kane is 51. Yikes. Scary. Here comes the guy that dresses like Shawn Michaels, uses Shawn Michaels' moveset, even the sweet chin music, with that big slab of humanity next to him, who has, in my opinion, pound for pound the best body in WWE right now. I mean, Lashley looks incredible. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. But physique, the look, the hair, the promo, the moves, Drew's it, man. I'm a fan of Drew. I can't help it. Let's see. Yeah, Thomas, what's up? Thomas can't watch it. Thomas, I would tell you you're missing a barn burn of a program. I can't tell you that. All right, listen, for real, the matches have been solid. I have no complaints with the matches at all. I only have a complaint with the thing happening in the first place. We won't get off on that again, shall we? Jenner does look amazing. John's right, and Jenner's been accused more often than not. We were in the crowd uh, Monday Night Raw this past Monday in Charlotte, and uh, and uh, the crowd started chanting at Jenner, uh, you take steroids, or he takes steroids. And so when the chants stopped, I because I yell out random bits of nonsense during a pro wrestling show that make no sense. I said, that's defamation of character. You can't prove that. I say, make him take a drug test. And that got some good laughs. People always want to take the the, the most well-built pro wrestler and say, you take steroids. Um, I don't know. I have a problem with that. I have a fundamental problem with that as well. That's just me. Is the elite showing up? Boy, would that be interesting. No. But buddy, wouldn't that be something? Uh, let's see. What else is happening? It's a quiet day here on the show, man. Not a lot of people tuning in. Hopefully we're not boring you folks to tears. <laughs> I just thought, you know, we go live at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on Facebook every Friday. And guess what? The kickoff time for Crown Jewel is 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I thought, why not do it? I was going to check the battery on the phone. Uh, and God knows when it's going to happen. I may get a warning here soon. Jenny, Jenny, what's up? Welcome to the show. I'm trying to keep track of people coming and going. If you leave, we'll never forget it. I'm kidding. I'll probably forget it. It's all right. Uh, better than listen to Michael Cole. Thank you. Yeah. Two things that Michael does. Um, when he goes, it's boss time. I hate that. I can't stand that. And also when Michael overpronounces the letters WWE, it's not a WWE, it's WWE. Listen to him. WWE. Like he's like, all right, Michael, I want you to fully pronounce this to the point of making people want to vomit and overpronounce it and really ham it up, Mike. You got to go for the ham, baby. The big ham loaf. Great big five pound ham loaf, Michael. Really go for it. Get your teeth into it, man. Do it. Next thing you know, WWE. I hate that. Tina says, Drew is so nice and humble. Made him here in the ATL, DDP Yoga Studio. You're a client of DDP Yoga Studio. Oh, man, Tina, that's awesome. Sweet. Tina, are we friends on the Facebook? 
I asked random people that. And I got a message from someone last week that said, we're friends. Why did you ask me that? And I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's hard to keep up, man. It's a good problem to have. It's, it's, it's better than having like five people watching. Just a, you know, not for nothing. If I go live on my own page, I get nothing happening. You know what I mean? I'm not as famous as all that. Trust me. Uh, I'm just me, dude. Angle hard into the steps. We keep forgetting to run commentary. This thing's become just us talking around the show, not talking about the show. Isn't that funny? Tina, send me a, a, a message in Wrestling Rumors um, Instant Messenger and say, hey, it's up. What's up? I'm here. I'll send you a friend request after the show's over. And that goes for any of you folks listening and watching out there right now. Much easier that way. Here I was talking about wanting to know how Kurt was going to look, and then I'm not watching how Kurt looks. How's he look so far? Okay? Not okay? I have to say, at one time, Kurt Angle was the best in the world. That's not a. That's not just a, a promo. That's not just hype. He really was the best in the world. He really was. It was very, very good. Man, people really want to talk about NWO. Y'all are killing me with this NWO stuff, man. Um, I don't want the NWO back together. I don't want them full time. If the NWO were to come back, it'd have to be new guys. You'd have to hand the NWO off gimmick to someone else. And they kind of already did that with Bullet Club, see? So I wouldn't do it. I don't know why there'd be a need to. I mean, those it's over for those guys. For real. It's not even a question in my mind. It's over. Bring them back for a couple of appearances, but that I think what's the most would ever happen to it, you know. Uh, let's see, I lost almost forty pounds, Miller D. Sweet. Go check out DDP Success Story website. That's awesome. Since I'm watching this on the show, also I'll do the like button. Shasha. Um, Tina, I have lost uh, thirty-two pounds so far. Uh, and I'm not doing anything physical. I just cut back. I'm just cutting back on all the garbage I was eating. At my lowest, I was 185. At my highest, I was 305. Um, several years ago, I was much bigger than I was this time. And I started to lose a bunch of weight, and I did. I lost 90 pounds in six months. Um, and all I did, all I did was cut back what I ate. That's it. I ate a lot better. I ate a lot less. I limited myself to 1,000 calories a day. And I dropped that much weight in six months. Um, this time I started back in July, July or August, maybe, maybe July, something like that. July or August might've been August, maybe. Uh, and it's now October or it's now November. Actually, I've lost 32 pounds. I ain't counting. Uh, I weigh myself every Friday. So, um, my goal is to lose 20 more. If I can lose 20 more, I'll be happy. You know, um, actually, if I can be honest with you. My goal is to lose 30 more. If I lose 30 more, then I'll be happy. That'll be a total of 60 pounds. I'll be happy with that. So, Sweet. Hey, how Cole says Balor Club has come to... Yeah, you're right. Cole oversells too much and he's just generally annoying to me. I've heard he's a good guy behind the scenes and knows the business. Interesting story, Jim. Um, when John Bradshaw Layfield had his website online, it was called the Layfield Report... I was the second writer he recruited for that website. Uh, John and I spoke several times. Great guy. Always was very professional with me. The first time I got a payout from him for the website, uh, it was in a personal check with his signature at the bottom, which was really cool. I had to take a picture of that, honestly. Um, sorry about that, folks. I just had a hey, hey happen. But I had um, uh, the first time I ever got cut a check from him, it was... Uh, a personal check with his signature at the bottom. It was pretty cool. Um, but he eventually um, um, shut the website down because he and Michael Cole had a podcast going at that time, and uh, which sucked for me. But uh, I'm writing down notes. My apologies. Um, which sucked for me because I loved writing for him, and he was he. And I could write about anything I wanted to. I just couldn't bash WWE, and 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 I never try to bash WWE. That's not the intention. Um, so uh, we had a great working relationship. He emailed me personally and he apologized for, you know, the, the site being shut down or what, whatever. And, you know, hindsight being 2020, I wish I could have went back and if I could rewind it, I would go back and say, uh, you know, 
how's about an endorsement for me to go somewhere else, you know? But at the time, I was just eager to please and just wanted the gig. And to see my name next to his on a website was really cool. But he and Michael Cole have always been tight, you know? I don't even know if that podcast is even still happening or if they're even doing it. Um, I think it lasted for a while, but I don't know how long it was. Greg says, enjoying old school classic much way better, much way better pro wrestling. Um, Yeah, well, I love old school stuff. I'm not going to lie to you there. I watch at least some worldwide wrestling at least once or twice a week, more if I can. Um, I like to watch old uh, uh, New Japan as well. Thank you, Tina. Greatest part about Angle is that he gives 100% no matter what. He's a wrestling perfectionist. He's doing well. Yeah, I figured he would do okay. I'm going to have to go back and rewatch this, man. I'm too busy talking. It's always been my problem. Most people in my life are like, Tom, Jesus, shut up, man. I can't help it. I like to talk. Goes for a pin. He got him. He got him. He got Kurt. And Drew just stepped right over him. Major disrespect to Kurt Angle. Wow. Did you see that coming? I kind of thought Kurt was going to win this thing. Interesting. Hmm. I still think it's going to be Kurt Angle versus Baron Corbin. That's going to happen eventually. Who will be the first to beat Ronda? Could be Becky. Maybe. Maybe. Becky and Ronda at uh, Survivor Series. I wrote a piece about that today. It's, it's on the website, Wrestling Rumors Facebook. Check it out. I'm talking about um, has WB sabotaged the Ronda, R- Ronda Rousey versus Becky Lynch of uh, main event at um, Survivor Series. <clears throat> I'm not saying that they did. I'm just asking the question. Go read it for yourself and you make the decision. You make the call. Dolph Ziggler did indeed just beat Kurt Angle. Yeah, they're setting up a heel face match. Rollins versus Ziggler and Miz versus Mysterio. Uh, I'm going to say Mysterio wins this thing. Mysterio is my pick. <laughs> I don't have a pick. I don't care. For the prestigious World Cup. How would it be if Seth won it and Dean came out and screwed him? Or, you know, bashed him in the head with that beautiful trophy? I don't know. Who knows? Like you, I traveled all across the world just to hit you in the head with a big gold trophy. Yeah, you know, I don't know. All right, we're probably going to do one more. Are we doing this now? Is the, is the Universal Championship match next? Shut up. No, it's not. Wow. I thought they were teasing. I'm like, oh my God, they're going to do that now? That's crazy. Tina made a good point. Kurt probably couldn't wrestle more than one match. Not in one night, yeah. All right, so we're going to do one more. And we're going to call it a day. Because if I'm not careful, this thing... Yeah, if I'm not careful, this thing could be here forever. (laughs) We could be here during the entire show. And I got stuff to do. I'm not kidding. We're going to do one more match, and then we're going to call it a day and wrap it up here on the show and let you guys finish watching Crown Jewel. How's that sound? And, you know, uh, maybe uh, if I can, I have no promises on this because i got other stuff going on. It'd be nice to be able to do a Q&A session on Wrestling Rumors after the show, after we stop with our program here, or stop with the main event. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Braun walking out as champ. I believe so, too. Yep, today's the day to get you a shirt, man, from WB.com. I only buy shirts from WB.com. Hello, American Dream Baby. I only buy a shirt from WBShop.com when those suckers are buy one, get one, man. That's the best time to do it. They'll have like random sales, you know, but the the, the best shows uh, are the best sales of the buy one, get one. And you know what? Let's end this show on a good note. I, I've I've dissed this thing from start to finish pretty much and made fun of the rich guys in the front row and whatever. Let's end this thing on a good note with the New Day. Let's end this thing with a trio of African-American WWE pro wrestlers coming down the ring and entertaining as only they can. I think that's fitting. 
You know what I mean? I would rather, I mean, not rather. I would also love to see the women on this event. But you know what? There's something to be said here for equality as well, in my opinion. And I love that. Um, and I think this is great. So what is happening here? Have they got, is the stage coming up? Okay, this is funny. The stage is up. They're dancing on the stage. That thing's kind of moving back and forth. It's a magic carpet. Oh, my God. Is that thing going to fly them down to the ring? It's going to take them down to the ring. Shut up. This is awesome. You hear the rain? This is awesome. And they're flinging pancakes to the crowd. That dude's got his cell phone and his charger. What the frick is he plugged into, man? That's awesome. That magic carpet's going to take its time. They don't want these guys to get killed, you know. It makes you wonder if they've if they've uh, got their feet anchored in something. Is there something that they're hanging on to? Yeah, there yeah there are. It's like a prey float. You got to hang on, man. You might get killed. You know. What a cool thing! Look at all the phones going up. That's how you come the ring right there. Screw Shawn Michaels' zip line. He should have had a magic carpet. This is this is how you do it, man. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, little kids in the stands are having fun. They don't know anything bad is happening. Yeah, Tina's right, hundred percent. Like we said earlier, man, a kid's kid. They're going to have fun regardless. I love that. Well, well, well said. Carpet's going to go back down now. Wouldn't it be terrible if they got stuck? They'd have to like dove off. Kofi could do it. Lay on his feet like a cat, man. Oh my God, this is funny. Kudos to WWE for giving them stuff like this. It's like back in the day when they gave Austin all the cool stuff to drive. They didn't have to do that. But it enhanced, enhanced his character like it is with New Day. It's, an, it's just an, an, an added touch to their to their presentation. I'm all for it. So. The Elite Collection. I got a few WB figures. I got the Full Horseman Collection still in the box. I got Sting in the box and Finn Balor as the Demon in the box. Cool. Yep, New Day is super entertaining. I agree. I, dude, I'll let the New Day go for another year if they want to. I don't care. That's all the stuff about, when are they going to break them up? They should break them up. Stop. There's too many heel and face turns right now. It needs to die down for a bit. It's just going to become like problematic in my opinion. Like There's something in the water. Everyone's turning heel this week or everyone's turning face next week. Enough's enough, man. Let well enough alone. If it's working, it's working. And here comes, we don't just set the bar. We are the bar. <gasps> Yes, me with my crooked pinky. See that? I can't. That's that's the best it's going to get right there, and I can't do any farther. It's funny. Uh, okay, Jason respectfully disagreed. I respectfully say you're wrong. I'm kidding. I'm. That's fine. Um, dude, you're not the first one to tell me that they, they've kind of had their fill of New Day. I, I mean, I can understand that. I can understand that. If it's not working for you anymore, it's not working for you anymore. It's fine. I mean, I get that point of view. It's still working for me. I say keep it. That's me talking. I like the two big thumbs and everything. Oh, there's a big show. Well, it's a big show. I interviewed him on the podcast as well. And Big Show is also a great guy. Dude, Big Show had me laughing. I had him cracking up too. It's pretty funny. God, he looks amazing, doesn't he? Big Show lost some weight too. Big Show not doing DDP yoga, Tina, I don't think. But yeah, look at the knee braces on show. It just goes to show you, man. Like, Big E doesn't have them right now. Big E will. Give Big E for another 5, 10 years. He's going to be wearing those knee braces for sure. So. What else is happening? Will the new day and hype and popularity ever die down? I, I, as with anything else, in my opinion, the best way to go out is to go out on top. So I think New Day, when the day comes for the New Day to call it a day, that's a lot to take in. Um, I think it'll be when you least expect it, like the Shield. Everyone thought hey, the Shield beat Evolution. It's it's everything's great. Never looked better. Boom, Seth turns. Roman goes out. Never looked better. Dean and, and Seth unified. Boom, Dean turns. I think you'll see the same thing here, where it's like, man, they've never looked better. Great match last night. Boom, someone's done. I still maintain, however, that if I'm in charge of such things in WWE, which I am not, um, I would definitely just let the New Day just sort of 
I, I can't say fall apart, but just let them make the conscious decision on the air in front of the world to say, you know what? I think it's time we stop. You know, we got other things we want to do. I don't want this to go sour. I don't want it to go south. I want us to be friends in the long run. You know, our kids play together. We know each other's wives and we hang out and stuff. Let's do what we got to do in business and let's still be friends behind the scenes. And they do what they got to do. And then they just call it a day and they each go off and do their separate thing. Maybe it's a pipe dream. In the world of WWE, whenever they want to uh, change something, it's always stab them in the back. Uh, let's see. What else is going on? Oh, man, we're down to nobody. Maybe we ought to just go ahead and take this home, man. No one's watching. We have lost an incredible amount of viewers here. People got other stuff to do, I suppose. Yeah, we're down to nobody. That's crazy. I've never had this few except the beginning of a show. We may just have to call it a day here, folks. We're going to do the New Day match versus the bar. Um, I would still like to do that, but, you know, when everybody's gone, they're gone, and there's no sense in keeping up with it after that. So, all right. Um, check out Crown Jewel. Finish the show. Give it a chance. Give these performers uh, your time. Uh, continue watching. Hopefully something else cool happens. The match has been solid so far. Um, uh, kudos to these guys for, for, uh, for showing up. No disrespect to John or Daniel for not showing up. As we said before, we completely understand their convictions. Um, so, if anyone else has anything, it's cool. If not, that's cool as well. We're going to go ahead and call it a day as the rich guys continue to shake hands and talk in the front row about how rich they are. So, um, that's us. That's that's it for us this time, man. I'm going to finish this match after we go off the air here. Thanks for hanging out. This has been fun. It's always fun. Hope you guys had fun. Don't forget to come back again next Friday, again, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on Wrestling Rumors Facebook Live for another episode of Tom Clark's Main Event. This has been episode 109. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. Remember to subscribe on iTunes and everywhere you can find the show. Keep your eyes open for Tom Clark's Comic Book World, which is coming very, very soon. Thanks for hanging out. We appreciate it. And we will see you next time on Tom Clark's main event.